I, I'm sorry this is so dark, but I wanted to show you that this is my bike situation before. And this is my bike like situation after. Okay, so the goal of today's project, the thing that I'm trying to do, which seems like it was going to be really easy, but has turned out to be a lot harder than I thought, is I'm just trying to put these lights, these are RGB LED lights, onto this bike wheel. Here, turn them on, you change the color, it's going to look a lot better at night. Alright, these lights have an adhesive backing and I thought this project was going to be super easy. I was just going to peel that off, I was just going to stick it onto the wheel, and I was just going to ride around with a lot of lights on my bike. But there are actually one <clears throat> really, really big problem with this. These are kind of like a deep V shape. It's like this. So if I try to put it on the side, it goes around. This, like most kind of ribbony things. Um, it can turn this way and it can turn this way, but it won't turn this way. Like you can't just take like a right turn like you're on a road curving to the right, which is exactly what I would need this to do. It has a thickness to it. It's going to bunch up and it's just not going to work. So I had to think of something different. Um, but then I realized that I could actually make some custom pieces on my 3D printer, um, put those on the wheels and then those can hold the lights. Okay, I'm gonna be showing you two things. I have one marker for the stuff that already exists, and I have another marker for the stuff that I wanna make. So we have this angle, that's the rim. It's probably not that pointy, but you get the idea. So then I also want to put on these two strips of bike lights. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to the second part of the problem, which is making the thing that goes in between the other things. So we have like this red shape, and that red shape is going to be where all of the 3D printed stuff is going to be. So that's just another couple notches. So effectively, this will be two channels. And these will then just be there to guide it. And this is good. This was actually pretty cool. This is just, with uh, just putting the strip in there, it, it works really well. Um, it, it's totally fine. It'll stick in place. The big problem with this design right now is that I'm still relying on the adhesive to keep everything in place. And if I place things incorrectly and I try and restick it or I just try and want to move it around and use it again later, um, I can't do that. And so I just want to make one more slight change. I'm just going to add these other two little pieces that will stick in to actually grab on to the LED strip. So that's this whole silhouette. That's like the shape that we're going to extrude. But there's actually one thing that is missing and that thing is the spoke. So then we want, actually want the top of it to look like this. So there's going to be a little bit of a cutout so that the spoke can go in and then it can slide onto the piece. Uh, and that hopefully will give us a piece that will hold on to the bike wheel really well. It'll hold on to the spoke and it'll hold on to the lights. So now I just need to make the design. There's going to be a link down below to Tinkercad file if you want to see it and modify it. You can totally do that. Okay, that stuff is done and now it's time to go to the 3D printer. But you know, now that I printed out a bunch of these, I needed 52, I believe there were 26 spokes on each wheel, times two is 52, plus a few dozen extra because things will just break. Um, maybe, I don't know yet if it's gonna work. Um, I'm gonna do that just next. So we'll see if that happens. It's spinning as fast as I'm gonna get it on here, and nothing has fallen apart. Not even a single 3D printed piece has broken, which 
I honestly didn't expect that would happen. I thought there was going to be at least a couple that would break, but so far none of them have broken. Um, this is good to go. playground at night uh, I think I'm in Berkeley maybe Oakland and I was going for my last few shots of the night but one of the wheels just broke one of the lights just broke <laughs> god damn it I wish I had a spare